Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this one, we're gonna be unboxing some washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop. And I got quite a bit of washi tape. <laughs> um, so I took the lid off the box. It was a little bit open when it got here, so I think everything's inside, but um, yeah, it was just a little bit open, probably because of travel or whatever because I think it came from China because I think their factory in China ships out their orders so I'm not totally sure about that just guessing. I ended up being able to get the free premium shipping which was supposed to take 9 to 12 days to get to Canada. It took over a month and a half to uh, get to me because of customs in Canada holding a bunch of orders uh, coming in and because of COVID and just uh, a ton of packages coming in and I guess not having enough people to deal with it or something. So it ended up taking quite a while but it finally got here and I'm so glad it did. I also just want to say that the customer service at the washi top washi washi tape shop is really great. Um, I contacted them about um, the delay in the order because I couldn't really understand um, what I was reading with the tracking number because it was on a, an Asian website and I translated it but I still didn't really understand and then Canada Post was saying that it had arrived but there was a delay or something so I was just I was really confused. And they explained it all to me and said that they had a batch of orders that were waiting in customs for a really long time and that they were trying to contact people there to get it released and stuff. And uh, like maybe a week and a half later, it got released and arrived. So yeah, they're really great. <laughs> and this was totally no fault of theirs that it arrived late, but when you're ordering stuff that may be coming from China, it can take a long time to get through customs, at least here in Canada. So just be wary of that when you're ordering that it may take longer than it says, especially with all, everything going on in the world right now. So anyway, let's start unboxing this. First, we'll go with these two because um, we can already kind of see them. And I don't know the names of the collections of washi tape because they're all kind of together, so, and they're not labeled, but they should still be available on their website. So we have some beautiful feather washi tape, and it looks like feathers and gemstones. Very pretty, and it has a kind of coppery gold color of metallics on it, and it also has um, holographic metallic which is really cool. I've never seen a combo like that before on washi tape. And I will unravel all the washi tapes so you can see them closer. Oh, and these are the really pretty little stickers at the top. So the tapes come like this. They're not actually stuck on the back side until you pull the back side off. So it's kind of like a sticker. But as you can see, so beautiful. And it's really great because if you're sending um, goodies to pen pals, then you can just snip some off and you don't have to put it on um, a little tag or something for mailing. So you can just send a strip like that. And wow, I have to say that is stunning in person. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the other one. So here's the black version of the design. Oh, and this bit here is just what keeps the washi tape like stuck in a roll. You can peel that off. But um, yeah, so gorgeous. It kind of looks like gemstones and moons and feathers in space. And the little stars are so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this tape so much. Um, and the quality feels really nice. I don't know how well it sticks down. I will let you know my opinion on that once I've um, stuck them all in my Hobonichi and I'll tell you how it feels like if they're stuck down or not. So I have these two little mini rolls to open. And one looks like it's in a lily pad um, pattern, and the other one is in a ginkgo leaf pattern. So let's start with the lily pads. So here's a look at this one. So let's just uh, put this back. Oh, this is perfect for autumn with the orange and green colors. And yeah, I think this one will look really great if there's a white background underneath it. It'll really pop. All right, let's open our first roll of uh, washi tapes. So it has a really cute tissue paper on it. It looks like Sakura leaves. 
and or flowers sorry and um, it has this cute little washi tape um, brand sticker right here so oh and these pretty little flowers uh, sticker at the top so let's take this one apart I want to try and save some of the tissue paper for journaling So this was one of the sets that I was most excited to get because um, I think these were the ones that Allie Brown got. Um, I'll have her linked below if you want to see her unboxing from the washi tape shop. But I'm pretty sure this is a set that she got and I really, really loved it. And it took a little bit of digging on their website to find it, but I found it and I'm so glad I got it. These look so pretty. So I'll just un unwrap them for you. Oh, I love this minty green color. It's kind of like a really muted mint green. And the flowers are beautiful. Wow, that is stunning. I think these would be really nice for a junk journal too because the colors are so muted that it would work really well with vintage style. Oh wow, this is just so pretty. It has little bees on it um, and flowers in gold. And then it has what looks like daisies or maybe sunflowers in the background and it's super pretty. The gold is so shiny, I love it. This has a really lovely design as well. It looks kind of like flowers and maybe peaches and slices of peaches or something like that. And it's like a light pink and it has gold on it and it's, it's beautiful just like the others. I love the line work. These are some beautiful drawings. I wonder who the artist is, if they have it, because they have some of the artists listed on their website that design the washi tape collections. And I'd be curious to know who designed these because they're stunning. For this one, there aren't any metallics on it. It's just the line art, but I think it looks really beautiful and it looks like it would be really translucent. Like I'm imagining like it might look kind of like tracing paper. So you could really build layers with this and it would probably look really beautiful in your collages. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this one. And it has butterflies and beautiful flowers. They look kind of like daffodils. And it's really stunning, just like the others. And then we have this one here, which is like a powerful punch of gold right in your face. Super pretty. Um, they're beautiful flowers and leaves and uh, definitely these this set is perfect for someone who loves botanicals um, they're absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy I got this set it's stunning and they all work so well together all right let's open the next set oh and before I open it this is the cute little sticker on top very cute I imagine it's um, matches the washi tapes inside like the sticker on the other ones did so this set is um, by an artist named whatever I've written across the screen and they did a collaboration with the washi tape shop and I believe their collaboration was um, based on different countries and they hand painted a design for each roll of washi tape based on a specific country and I'm not sure which countries they are. I think this one might be Mexico and it kind of has a uh, Day of the Dead theme. So yeah, let's start with this one. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of honed in on this one because I'm really excited to see uh, what it looks like. And on the website, they showed the artist's artwork that they were painting and it was actually like quite large. Like it was kind of a long section like this and I think it was this one. And it just looks so detailed. Oh wow, this is beautiful. There's different um, cactuses and skulls and flowers. Wow. And the, uh, there's even little peppers. Oh, this is so cute. And maracas. This is so imaginative. I love it. This is so cool. And I love that um, an artist hand painted the design for this. I just think that makes it extra special. So yeah, let's open the others. I don't know, I feel real India vibes off of this one with the uh, patterns and the lotus flower and the tiger. Cause I know there's tigers in India, but um, oh, this is so beautiful. It almost looks like it could be a coloring book or something. And uh, like 
you could color in the page or something and it had wouldn't it be cool if coloring books had pages that had metallic details like metallic foiling and then areas where you can just color it in that would be so pretty that'd be a good idea anyone making coloring books try that out I would totally buy one <laughs> but yeah this is so pretty like look at the I think that's a peacock feather oh so gorgeous okay we may have a problem this one has tigers on it as well, so maybe I should stop guessing the countries. <laughs> um, in fact, I might just write uh, for you guys which country each one is for so that uh, you guys aren't as confused as I am. <laughs> but, um, oh wow, I love all the tigers. That is so beautiful. And tigers are not easy to draw. Like, I've tried drawing them before, and I find, like, cats hard to draw in general, so uh, I definitely envy, or I think envy is the bad one. I think jealous is the good one, maybe. But I'm definitely, like, uh, inspired by the artwork and how well the artist has drawn these flowers and tigers and just the beautiful gold details. Wow. Stunning. And then we have this beautiful one with birds and flowers and it's just really beautiful. I'm not sure which country it's for though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Very interesting. And the details are so beautiful. Wow. And the wings, the way the artist drew the wings is just so detailed. Like, whoa. <laughs> Another beauty. And the last one in this collection, it's right here. And it's really, really cool. I love the design. Um, it has like eyeball flowers, which is really neat. Not sure if the artist intended on doing that, but I think it's really cool. And awesome detailing with the gold. And I'm guessing these are fans maybe, hmm. All right, next roll. This is our second to last. So now we have this beautiful set of florals and I love the colors. They're very, very uh, pretty, very soft and pretty. And I think these would work really nice in a junk journal too. They're not exactly vintage, but the colors are still soft enough that I think it would work. But I mean, you could put them in any kind of journal that you wanna put them in. There aren't any rules, right? So let's open this one up. Beautiful details. The only suggestion I would have with this roll is that there's a lot of white space at the top here. And um, like obviously they need white space at the top if they're going for this kind of effect where um, the plants are coming out of the bottom and they could act as kind of a a border or something like I get that but I feel like there's too much white space at the top but it probably will melt into the page and uh, when you put it down on white paper but still very beautiful I think this was one of the ones I was really looking forward to because the colors are so perfect together there's like a peachy color mixed with kind of a Payne's gray color and then the gold details are just beautiful Yes, I really love this one. So pretty. Ooh, this one looks really nice too. Oh, wow. So far, this is my favorite out of the set. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. So friggin' pretty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, I can't stop looking at it. It's so pretty, I love those colors together. Then we have some daisies. These are simple and super cute. Love them. And then the last one of the set. Oh, this is super cute. I love this one too. Oh, there's Hun Bun. Let's lift her off. She's getting an airplane down to the floor. All right, so yeah, this one's super cute. It kind of looks like pressed flowers or something like that. 
kind of, it's very modern looking actually, but still could definitely work in a junk journal. But yeah, anyway, those are super, super cute. Can't wait to use those. And then the last roll of washi tapes. Here we are, finally. Let's open it up. All right, so the last set is, I think the last set that I added to my basket in the shop, and I got it because not only do I love all the patterns, I think they're beautiful, but I remember specifically seeing Joey Defee, who is a junk journaler and paper crafter on YouTube. Um, I remember her see, seeing her use this gorgeous tape in her journals, and I just wondered if they still had it available on the washi tape shop, because I think um, the video was from a while ago, and I looked through all their um, designs, and I finally found the set that had it. It took a lot of digging, and I'm so glad I found it. So let's start with this one. And I believe this is another one of their uh, artist series of washi tapes where a single artist designed all the tapes. And I think it was supposed to have a fairy tale theme for this set. And I'll write the artist's name if I can find it right now. Oh. And I just love the twinkle stars and the flowers. And the little castle back there and the little person oh it's so imaginative love it so glad I got this one and then wow this is a really big washi tape like holy crap anyway this one's really neat uh, you might be kind of limited on how you use it though in your journal because I will show you the design. Hold on. So here's the beautiful, beautiful design. And uh, I think it's absolutely stunning. Just so gorgeous. It's obviously a girl with red hair, braids, kind of sticking up like Pippi Longstocking. So cool. And I love the forest in the background. Just, this is like so fairy tale esque. Love it. Anyway. The only reason why I say you might be limited with this washi tape is because it might look kind of weird if you just, I'm bon. <laughs> oh. It might look kind of weird if you just use a section of the braid, maybe not, but um, you probably would have to use like the whole strip, yeah. So I'm not really sure, but it, it does look really pretty just like that too. But yeah, so there might be a limitation on how you use this one. All right, we are on to the next one. Only two washi tapes left after this. <laughs> oh, this would be perfect for Christmas. Oh, that's stunning. Um, one thing that I do notice though, is that there's a line going down here. I don't know if you can see it um, on your screen, but there's a line going down here and this is where the design uh, stops and restarts. And um, I know that some companies that make washi tape in China, they have that problem with their washi tape and supposedly it's a normal thing, like it's a normal issue, but I know some washi tape doesn't have that problem. So yeah, um, I'm always worried if I get my own washi tape made with my designs on it, if I will have that issue because it's kind of annoying. But I mean, it doesn't bother me too much, but it might bother customers. So yeah, that's a possible issue. And it does repeat in the pattern. So yeah, beautiful design otherwise though. Oh, and then we have this beauty right here. And this kind of looks a lot like um, this design that I got in the other set. Kind of looks like that, kind of that style. Love it, very pretty. And this would be really good for Christmas too, actually. I think this whole set might work really well with Christmas. Very pretty. And the last washi tape. We made it, guys. We made it to the last one. <laughs> Let's open this sucker up and see what we got. All right, guys, here's the last design. Super pretty and festive. Um, I think it could go both ways because there's plants coming up here in the gold and then there's also plants coming up um, on the other side or they could be hanging down either way you look at it. 
um, from the top. So very pretty. And I love the little tiny dots of gold too. Not sure if you can see those, but they're very cool. And yeah, that's all of the washi tapes. Right now I'm looking at tons of washi tapes and thinking, oh my goodness, what have I done? But on the other hand, I can't wait to swatch them in my Hobonichi. So let's do that now. All right, guys, here's a little peek at the washi tape in my Hobonichi. And as you can see, they are so gorgeous. I hope you can see the shine. I hope I'm holding it correctly, but these are just so magical and shiny and beautiful. Oh, that's my Christmas thing I haven't filled out yet. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of my Hobonichi, why not? So this is what I have so far. There's a lot of pages that I didn't write in because I was feeling kind of down. So um, sometimes I don't fill in the entries. But yeah, this is what I've done so far. I'm totally behind on my journaling, like so behind, like crazy. But um, yeah, here's what I've got so far. And we're going backwards. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pages. Oh, and there's collage sheets in here by Courtney Diaz, James Burke, um, possibly by Bun, Pocket Journal Pam. So I uh, hope I got everybody. But yeah, this is my little Hobonichi. And uh, I really need to get back into it. I love this page too. <laughs> Super fun. But, um, yeah, okay, I did a lot more pages in here than I thought. This is turning into, like, some sort of grand tour. We're almost at page one. <laughs> All right, there we go. That That is uh, my New Year's page. So, anyway, um, I hope you're all having a great start to your weekend. Yep, it's the weekend. And um, it'll be Sunday when I post this, so I hope your Sunday is going well and that you're getting a chance to be creative. And uh, make sure to check out the washi tape shop if you're looking for some new washi. Their washi tapes are so beautiful and the adhesive quality seems really great, so none of them are coming up. And these have been in here for a while, so yeah, um, totally recommend them. So yeah, uh, I have lots of other journaling videos on my channel, so be sure to check those out. I'm gonna be making more art videos in the future too. And please uh, like and comment on this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.